is up you guys I have to like squat to talk in this position <laughs> I have my camera like propped up on our kitchen counter we're just gonna have to deal with this awkward angle anyways I just got home from VidCon it is Saturday and VidCon actually is still going on today but I have way too much to do so I had to come home a bit early I just showered and I feel a million times better I was feeling so groggy this morning but I feel, I feel a little more energized now. I am actually heading out to get a haircut right now. And Steven is also not here at the house because he is getting a haircut. So you guys will get to see both of our hair transformations. Right now, mine hits like right at my chest. It's, it's pretty dead though. I think I'm gonna get a decent amount off, maybe like two or three inches. For the past few years, I've like toyed with doing it really, really short, like a bob, because I think that would be a fun change. But my hairstylist said that that tends to be a lot more work than having longer hair, which is the opposite of what I thought. The main reason I wanted like a shorter haircut is because I thought it'd be easier. But I get it because like if you have short hair, you can't just like throw it in a bun or a ponytail. You always have to do something with it. So I do think I'm gonna keep it relatively long. I don't know what Steven's plan is with his hair, but we'll see it later. And I got to see the doggies again. Steven didn't make the bed, but you know, what else is new? Hi, baby. You are so precious. Yes, you are. Bella, you gotta come back in here. I need to get a haircut. Come on. Good girl. Very good. Does anyone else go into like baby voices whenever they talk to animals? Because it's just so hard not to. I love you. I love you. Skylar just texted me a link to True Friend by Hannah Montana. I'm about to jam out. You're a true friend. Still a bop. Who remembers this song? Till the end. This used to be my custom ringtone for my friends on my pink razor. All right, it is time to get this monstrosity addressed. I got my hair cut last cut. It was for Kyle's wedding. I was supposed to like flip backwards and like put gel in and make it look cool and make me look marginally cooler. Since it was a weird cut, if you remember that, I was weirded out by it and I actually never really learned how to style it. But, so one side is now like, that's bad. Whereas this side is like really short. I want neither, I want them all short. I've been playing rec basketball lately and yeah, you can't, you can't do that. I have to wear a hairband. So I always wait till it's way too late to get a haircut and this is, this is, this is way too late. And then yeah, regarding the house, things are looking better. Uh, all the issues we had have been resolved, so. There's really nothing that is making us say no anymore. So we're moving forward. Things are looking good. I have my hair cut in 10 minutes actually. I need to leave. Uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm excited that I'm getting my hair cut today because I feel like I need a little bit of like a pamper day. I'm not gonna wear any makeup all day today. So hopefully my skin will feel clearer because I've been wearing makeup, a lot of makeup for the past three days for VidCon. Getting my hair cut, so I'll have that all nice and fresh. And then I think I'm gonna get Steven to do the Sand and Sky face mask with me tonight since he hasn't tried it yet. And it makes my skin just feel so much more rejuvenated, I guess is the word I'd go for. Like it just feels really fresh after I do it. And I feel like I need that right now. But just got to the salon. Time to change up this hair. Okay, so guys, look at how much hair got cut off. You can see some of the pieces are so long. We had to cut off quite a bit. Look at that one right there. That's like three inches of hair. Ready for the reveal? There it is, as you can see. Before I think it was to about here. Now it's here. I'm excited to see the way it looks when it dries. I also got bangs, which I haven't had in a long time. I always like pulling out like the little wispies when I do a braid, but they've always been too long. So now I have a little bit more to play with. I got layers, which I usually do. So not too much of a change, but I'm excited about it. Back to the wall that I was at before I walked in so you can see how much shorter it is. I'm so excited. I just love having my hair like a little bit shorter. I think in theory, I love the idea of having like long flowing extensions, but in reality, like hair that's not too short, not too long, I feel like that fits me the best. My hairstylist is so funny and she's like so fun and like amazing, but she hates being on camera. Like she literally hates it. Oh, something's going down over there. Anyways, as soon as I pull out the camera, she's like, oh my gosh, no, no, no. And she like runs to the side. But she's so funny because she like watches all my stuff and like supports me so much on my channel. She's been cutting my hair since I was 13. So she's seen me through like all the stages of life. I was telling her all about Steven and I buying a house, which still can't believe that's happening. All right, I've got fresh hair. 
I'm a little hungry. I think I might get an acai bowl. Since it is my pamper day, might as well get myself something yummy. Then I'm gonna go home, do some editing. I have a video to finish before I go to Canada on Monday. All right, I hope it's not too loud, but it probably is. I'm in the car wash, woo -hoo! You know, I got, I got cleaned up. It's time for uh, the good old Mustang to also be cleaned up. Yay, Sierra's back. Yay, <laughs> and look, well, he already saw my hair, but now that it's completely dry, you can see really how short it is. It's honestly, yeah. this is the shortest I've ever had it. Now, you usually can't see a difference in my hair. Do you actually see a difference this time? Nope. Really? No, it looks the same. She showed but, me pictures and like, yes, it is like that much shorter. No, it's three and a half inches they took off. I had so much dead hair because I've been straightening it a lot lately. I think yours looks really nice. I know, we're both so like fresh today. And. What? Big news, my car is clean too. Yay! Mine's not. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next part of our relaxing day together, we are going to do the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask. I made Stephen shave his beard because I think this might get a little caught in your beard. You know, you want the fresh, clean canvas. And Sand and Sky is sponsoring this video, so a big thank you to Sand and Sky. I've been using them for about the past month and I've noticed a huge difference in my skin. I'll insert my before picture after my first use and then now after about four weeks of use, you can see a pretty big difference. It helps skin rejuvenation, it removes toxins, and the big thing I think you're gonna be excited about with the Australian Pink Clay Mask is it actually helps clear and shrink your pores, and I know you always hate that you have big pores. This will help you. It's made with 100% natural Australian ingredients and pink clay, so it's gonna be real good. It's like a little 10 minute holiday for your skin. I think you're gonna like it, I love it. Usually I start by taking my makeup off, but today's a makeup -less day. You know what you do need though is a headband to push your hair back, so I'll be right back. All right, so. Our skin is clean just to make sure that there's no like sweat or anything on us. I never sweat. Well, let's just wash a little bit. Just get a little bit of water on your face and then dry it. Do I have to? Yes. Man. All right, you ready? What do I do? I'm gonna do it on you first. Wait, do you wanna do it yourself? No. How does it feel? I feel like you're rubbing Australian clay on my face. <laughs> well, I am. Also, it's 100% all natural, cruelty free, paraben free. Yeah, you can see how it's like settling into your pores. Yeah, what's up with that right there? Here, watch, turn this way. Cause those are, you have big pores. I'll do a close up after we put it on. I do know I have monster Turn that way. You really do have monster pores. Shh, don't say it out loud. You can get all the hair back. Well, I don't know, you're into my forehead. Yeah, you, it's a it's a mask. You do a mask on your whole face. Do you have more like dry skin or oily skin? Uh, oily. Oily, okay. Then you want to use it like two to three times a week. I have combination skin, so I use it twice a week. But if you have dry skin, you want to use it one to two times a week. Meet, meet, uh -huh. meet, 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 uh -huh. meet, 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 meet. All right, wait, let's, before I do mine, let's get an insert of Steven's pores because it's kind of crazy. Look at that, look how it's like settling into his skin. Oh my gosh, I love doing like girly products on boys. Oh my gosh. I'm like a pro at this by now. All right, so mine is all done. Steven's is starting to dry as you can see, but let's get a close up on my pores. Yours didn't look like mine. Yeah, well I've been using this for a while, so it's already been like tightening and shrinking my pores. Is that what it's supposed to do, tighten? Mm -hmm. See, mine has like the holes you can see. That's your pores. All right, so now we're gonna wait for it to dry. You can see Steven's is starting to dry. So big thank you to Sand and Sky again for sponsoring this video. The Sand and Sky Australian Pink Clay Mask will detoxify and brighten your skin and there is free shipping worldwide. So check it out, there's a link in the description. I love this mask, it's like my fave. So we are gonna wait for it to dry and we'll check in with you guys in 10 minutes. I look like a skeleton, we but. We are dry, let me get the focus on you. Let's wash it off. We will check in with you guys right now. All right, first timer, how's it feel? It feels good, like my skin feels like it's kind of like tightened up and it yeah. feels good. Yeah, it's like it like rejuvenates it. And it always makes my skin feel like softer, and like brighter. Exactly, yeah. Like I always have trouble like not touching my face. And again, another big thank you to Sand and Sky for sponsoring this video. Link is in the description. I'm a fan. I think I made Steven a fan of it. <sighs> now let's go. Yeah, I was awesome. gonna say relax, but you're gonna relax. I have to do some editing before my trip to Canada on Monday, which is coming up yeah, so freaking fast. As long as you leave this here, it's fine. Why? Because you're gonna use it? Maybe I could have my own spa night, huh? <laughs> this you is know a free what? World. It's 2018. All right, the evening has come to an end. Sierra has just ran straight back to the editing. Um, I'm gonna edit the vlogs, and other than that, Sierra's leaving for Canada tomorrow, so I'm sure she'll have plenty to share with about her journey. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you later. Bye.